Welcome everyone to Erie, Pennsylvania, as we've got some week one college football action and the Spruce Forest State SFSU Roadrunners are set to take on the Lake Erie Legends. Looking at this Spruce Forest State team, they are going to be a good team this year. I expect them to make a bowl game representing the National Athletic Conference, but they don't really have a future in contention. And well, I'm very curious to see how this program will be built up the next few years as they will obviously choose Tails, which of course wins because Tails never fails. They will elect to send their defense out on the field first as here's the kickoff team. And this game is now underway and it'll be received at about the 21 yard line by the Lake Erie Legends. The return man gains about 10. So here is the legend offense, led by true freshman quarterback Humberto Dorrance. As on first down, he will hand it off to Bovey, and he is immediately wrapped up to the ground by the talented freshman linebacker Marinque. Now it's going to be third down and two here for the legends as they will look to throw it. Short pass, but he is immediately wrapped up to the ground. That'll force a three and out. So here's the Roadrunner offense led by senior quarterback Akai Alleman. And he is going to be sacked on his first play of the game. Immediately brought down to the ground. So that'll force a three and out. Lake Erie's offense has it back. Game still tied at zeros. Dorrance on third down and short. He's going to get it to slump. That rhymes with Trump. And he gets out of the slump right there. Now second and four for the Legends as Dorrance is going to scramble. And that's Chico the senior. Making the play. Nice play right there from the young Chico. As now it'll be third down and seven after the loss of three here for Lake Erie. Dorrance, he's going to take a shot deep. And he connects with his target for the touchdown. The coverage was blown by the safety. And the Lake Erie Legends will take the lead. But Spruce Forest State will answer right back. That's Michael Lurd, the starting right guard. On the kick return, the starting right guard for this team, Michael Lurd, he was doing kick and punt returns all day. I don't know why, but he gets the touchdown, and this game is now tied up at seven apiece somehow, some way, as Dorrance on third down, short pass over to Bothy, but he's immediately wrapped up by Wallow, the safety. So that'll force a punt. SFSU has it back. Here's Corliss Iozo on his first carry of the game. There he goes down the field. And the SFSU Roadrunners will take the lead, assuming he stays in bounds. And he does. Touchdown, Roadrunners, as he ran down that field very quickly. The sophomore, Corolla Sayozo, will make it 14-7. to So here is the legend offense. Dorrance under pressure. He's going to run with it. And he slides just a yard short. Did not want to take any contact. That'll force a punt. Here's Akai Alleman. He will connect over to Siante Smink. He gets by some defenders. And there goes Smink down the field. And the sophomore will extend the SFSU lead. All four touchdowns of this game have been from long range. So now this game is 21-7. Here's Humberto Dorrance taking a shot deep for McGurn. And the safety tried to make a play on the ball, but instead McGurn will take it to the house for a Lake Erie touchdown. As now it's 21 to 14. The SFSU has it back. Corliss Iozo with it. And he gets pounded in the backfield on that play. As this Lake Erie defense knows how to lay the boom. Now third and 11, Akai Alleman. He's going to connect with Jamaris Manwa, the sophomore. I was hyping this kid up for a reason. He gets the first down. His first catch as a road runner. As now from midfield, second and nine, Akai Alleman. He will be sacked. Going downstairs where Danny Hines, the vodka. So now it's third down and 19. Alleman sacked again. So that'll force a punt. The big play from Jamaris Manawa is all for nothing. So he returns to Humberto Dorrance of the Lake Erie offense. Two and a half minutes left to go here in the half. As Dorrance, he's going to look to throw it. Taking a shot deep. And he connects with Blandy. There's Salerno trying to catch him, but it won't be enough. And this game is now tied up as the amount of long plays we've seen today has been incredible. So now it's 21 apiece. About two minutes left to go in the half as Corliss Iozo gets the boom as he gets lit up like a Christmas tree. So now entering the second half, look at this. The Roadrunners are kicking off. But remember, they also kicked off to start the first half, which is kind of weird, but okay. 
So, Lake Erie gets to start the football here in the first and second half. Will they take advantage as Dorrance's pass here on third down will be overthrown? So, it looks like them getting the ball didn't really change too much. As here's Akai Alleman on third down. He's picked off by Ewan. And Ewan will be chased down quickly by Jamaris Manoa. But still, huge turnover right there for the Legends. Let's see if they can capitalize. Now it's second down and eight. Humberto Dorrance looking to throw it. He gets it over to Cracker with a K. And Salerno gets him at about the eight-yard line. But still a nice first down nonetheless for Lake Erie. Now it's second and goal from the six. As Humberto Dorrance under center. He will take a shot here in the back of the end zone. And it's caught by Dyson. And the Legends will take a 28-21 lead. So here returns SFSU. Third down and three. There's Jamaris Manwa deep with the catch. Getting by a pair of defenders. And Manwa with a 69 giggity yard score. It just like that. It is now 28 apiece. So what can Lake Erie's offense do? About a little bit under three minutes left to go here in the quarter as Dorrance taking a shot deep for Blandy this time. And Salerno will be unable to catch him. And that touchdown will be from 65 yards out. And Lake Erie will take a 35-28 lead as this game continues to go back and forth. Speaking of going backwards, Corliss Ayoso loses five slow to get up. That must have been painful. Now third down and seven. Akai Alleman has Antonio Gert next who brings it to the 50. Nice first down from the sophomore receiver, as this Roadrunner team has a very bright future at receiver with Girton and Manawa has, speaking of Girton, 50, or 52 yards, sorry, to the house, and the Roadrunners will tie this game up. Another launch score here for SFSU, 35 apiece now, as we're still in the third quarter of this one. Is this Big 12 football? And then look at this, Dorrance tosses it about 10 yards back in the end zone. So Spruce Forest State will take the lead for unable to do anything with their new possession as Iozo loses about four. But still, they are up now because of, I guess, Humberto Dorrance being an idiot. It's so now about six minutes left to go here in the fourth. Dorrance with a nice spin move, quickly wrapped up by Vogt, but still a nice first down nonetheless. Now it's third down, Humberto Dorrance. He connects with McGurn. He is like Kyrie Irving breaking ankles, finding the end zone, and Lake Erie takes the lead. 42-37, there's Alleman connecting with guess who? Manwa. and there goes Manwa. He jukes his way to the 35. Let me tell you, I thought R2 was sprint, not juke. Guess you're gonna learn something new every day. It's now third and five. Here's a Kai Alleman. He gets it over to Bug Tras, who loses nine yards. So that'll force a punt, and Manawa's juke will likely come to haunt the Roadrunners. Their defense needs to stop. Something we have not been able to say too often today. As there's Diven with the first down. Could all could almost been picked off by SFSU. And then on third down, Dorrance runs for about four. So Spruce Forest State does get the stop. Here comes Lake Erie for the field goal. The kick is up. It is good. But still, eight possession, eight point game. Sorry. So let's see what SFSU can do. About a minute and a half left. They have one timeout. As there's Lake Erie with the sack. Second and 17. Akai Alleman under more pressure. And he is sacked again. So now it's third down and 27. They need a big play. And here is Alleman. He has an open man. That's Cosner, and here he goes down the sideline, wrapped up at the 42, but still a huge play right there for SFSU. And then here's Corliss Iozo. He breaks multiple tackles, runs out of the 29, and here comes the Roadrunners. Their offense is in a little bit of a groove now. Short pass over to Antonio Girton, and he has it. He could take it to the end zone, but he wants to take time off the clock, so he's tackled at the 2, which could be costly, but could pay off as well. So now third and goal. 15 seconds left. Akai Alleman looking to throw it from the end zone. And that's Jamaris Manwa with the touchdown. So get this. It wouldn't let them hike it on their two-point conversion. So that'll back them up to the eight here. Two-point conversion ties it. Otherwise, they will lose as Alleman is sacked. And that'll do it for the football game. Lake Erie wins in dramatic fashion. 45-43. The Roadrunners sort of got cheesed out of a win. 
by kicking off to start the second half and then not hiking on the two-point conversion. But other than that, great game nonetheless. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. As always, have a good one. Peace.